Hey, Remy. We have someone for you. Hi everyone, I'm Megan Trainer. <laughs> feel, feel my heart. Feel, feel my heart. I'm gonna not fangirl too much. I'm gonna drop. Mm, I'm a pop star. Did you tell him I just want to hook up? She's like, yeah, don't worry. And I was like, no. <laughs> tell him, tell him I want to be with my girlfriend. The best therapy session I've ever had. Oh, good. Wait, shit. Can I piss? I'm sorry. Yes. yes. Oh my God. Go, go, go. Nar? Ramble. Basic. This episode is presented by DoorDash. Use promo code PRETTY at checkout for 50% off your first order of $12 or more. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to not fangirl too much. I'm going to try. Are you going to be uncomfortable with fangirl? Nobody's fangirled over me. No, I'm honored. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best confidence booster I've ever had. I need this. I literally like, so looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, don't be fucking weird. No, honey. I need this so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, okay. Hi guys, welcome back to Pretty Basic. I am trying my best to not shake my voice right now because my heart is palpitating, but my literal favorite person in, oh, well, she's here too. But my favorite person in the world is here in studio today. Please introduce yourself. I'm gonna close my eyes like I'm listening. Hi everyone, I'm Megan Trainer. Feel my, feel my heart, feel my heart. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna be weird, but. Please be weird. It's this a well-known fact. You're my favorite person in the world. Literally anyone that's come on our podcast who might remotely know you, I'm like, do you know Megan Trainer? Like, I think we've had to cut it a few times. Josh Peck, he said, you're very nice. Oh, wow. But I was like, do you know Megan Trainer? Can you get her on? He was like, yeah, she's really nice. I was like, he perfect. He is so nice. He was sweet. But welcome to the podcast. Oh my God, thanks for having me. I'm honored. No, Absolutely. literally over a year ago, I hit up everyone on my team and I was like, do we have any connects to Megan Trainer? Why we, did we you need, DM me? We, I should have. Dude, I had to DM Gal. I, the one thing I could have done, I didn't do. Yeah. <laughs> I hit up the whole team and I was like, we have to surprise Remy, which I'm glad you knew ahead of time. I'm not kidding. I, I text everyone. I was like, we have to make this happen. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you knew ahead of time because now knowing, I didn't know how like how worked up we would get. Yeah, I wouldn't have been. I wouldn't have spoken. I would have just like <laughs> smiled the whole time. <laughs> but, by the way, your teeth look good. Oh my god, thank you so I know much. The whole story because I got them too. Yes. Leash. Did you like? How was I your did experience? <gasps> on yeah, top I did and bottom. Teeth. Yeah, it was no, just on top. It oh was wow, brutal, but worth it. It's worth every penny. <laughs> worth every penny. Or worth every pain. I like now. Yours I'm, are perfect. Thank you. So, yours too. Yeah. I like smile. I've like noticed. I just talk with all my yeah. teeth now, and I used to hide them so much. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was a big saga here on the podcast. She I didn't saw. want me to get them. She oh, was really no. scared it's about okay. shark I teeth. I was scared. I was scared. They do look good. They look so good. Did you? Do you have shark I like teeth yours under than yours? Mine. No. I had baby teeth, like vampire teeth, <gasps> like pointy. If I show you, like people are like, you had great teeth. I'm like, yeah, but if I show you the before and after, you'll be like, oh, oh I, I get, get it. it. I get it. I, I get had it. like pockets. They were like baby teeth. And I was like, okay, I'm like 28. I want my adult teeth now. Yeah. Uh, Speaking <laughs> of which, bottom. I can't believe that you're 28. I feel like you've I lived know. so many lives. No, you're so young. I'm old, but I'm young. You are. Oh, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Okay, let's I start feel off. I 16. Okay, sorry. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Dude. I keep getting so excited i keep cutting you off okay let's start off first plug yourself you have a podcast with your brother called yeah, working yeah, on yeah, it yeah so i yeah i have a podcast with my brother called working on it um and he happened to get sober like the first episode like just timing timed up like that so we talked about that a lot and we talk about just new episodes of what, what we're working on just to be better people since i've had a baby i want to be like the best version of me which i am currently then I got into the podcast world and learned about you guys and everyone was sending me video clips of you <laughs> sorry. confessing your love for me. <laughs> and I have that same love for T-Pain. Oh. People, people, people wouldn't expect that. Yeah. But the way they taught me about you too, they were like, no, how you how feel, feel? T-Pain <laughs> is how she feels for you. And I was like, you got to get me on the show. Thanks Wait, guys so much. Wait, Wait is T-Pain the one with the, who yes. had all the DMs and didn't know for so yes. long? <gasps> yes. Have you DM'd him? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, of course. Has he opened? No. Okay. Well, maybe <laughs> your team can also show T. -Pain. Yeah, I told them like surprise me with him one day because I will like pass out. What like, about T. Pain? Do you love uh, his songwriting abilities? Okay. I played one this morning for my hairstylist. I was like, no, you have to understand. He rhymed. Um, I can put you in the cabin. All the way out in Wisconsin or something like <laughs> yeah. that. Like he has he slant has some rhymes. Fire hits. He has fire hits. He has bangers after bangers, and he's just the most talented songwriter, and I love him to death. <laughs> 
I love him to death. I what? hope everyone everyone <laughs> clip this and send it now to T Pain, and we can yes! just keep this going. And then T Pain can meet someone. I love him. Yeah, <laughs> I've been like this close to hanging out with him, but timing didn't work out. What would you say to him? Uh, thank you, Papa, for <laughs> teaching me for teaching me how I can rhyme words that don't rhyme. Rhyming you ability. Know? Yeah. <laughs> thank you for your melody, your background skills. Um, perfect. What's like his biggest song? Buy you a drink, right? Um, yeah, probably buy your drink, bartender. Yes, um, okay. So many. Booty work is incredible. <gasps> booty I didn't like realize that. Booty, booty work, and then I'm sprung. You know, oh my the god! First hit. <gasps> oh yeah, so many. I can name so many more. I love that you're a super fan. I love D Pain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then you also just had a single come out for your right, new right, album. Sorry, promote. Yeah, um, <laughs> bad for me. I have a song featuring Teddy Swims, who, if you don't know, please look him up. He is incredible. He is an amazing singer and songwriter. And then the album coming out is like, it's very much like Tidal, my first album, mm -hmm. but like 2.0 because she's mature, Ooh, she's emotional. I'm going to send it to you today. Shut it the comes fuck out in October, up. but I'm, <laughs> I'm actually wanted to know if I could like play you my next single that's like upbeat and you're going to die for it. Um, but like put headphones on so they can't hear okay. it, but watch you <gasps> oh, react. Yes, oh my God, sad. I would love that. I thought that. that'd be cool. I've been doing that to people on my podcast. It's Is fun. that just like so exciting to watch people? Yeah, I just study. I'm yes. like, yes. <laughs> well, I love your, like the reason why I love you, obviously, I think you're just so fun and I love that. You're so, I feel like relatable is like, it sounds condescending, but like you really are oh. just so like relatable. And I love that word. That's why I've loved you since like, <laughs> since literally title. I like uh, my best friend and I at the time would just drive around all summer long listening to title. And like where I called her as soon as you messaged me, I haven't talked to her in years. <laughs> and I was like, holy fucking shit. And she was freaking out with me, but I just love your songwriting abilities too. And I know you write for other artists, which is so cool. And mm. last time I'm going to fangirl, but we were going over like what other songs that you've written for artists and like. I knew, but I didn't quite know. But the two, like, very random song of Sabrina Carpenter that I love. Yeah. What, like, you wrote, <laughs> when I Can't Blame like a Girl for Trying. 15, Are you yeah. kidding? I, like, was like, this I makes sense. At, at, like, a songwriting convention. And no. With, like, with, like, these old men. And I wrote this <laughs> song. And they're sweet guys. And, and then some guy was from Disney there and was like, I'm going to get this cut. And I was like, okay. And then Sabrina Car Carpenter cut it. Um, and I, I was like, wow, I made it like, this is everything. And she's like the sweetest person ever. And I'm like, I know she's a superstar and she's going to be even bigger, but just like feeling like, oh, I had her first song is like the was biggest that her, accomplishment. Was that her accomplishment. first song? I think it was like her first music video. Oh my God. Well, oh I was obsessed God. with Disney yeah, Channel back then. It. Oh yeah, my God. And JLo too. Intro Mom is my favorite song. We literally were talking about it before you walked in. I was like. It all makes sense now. Tell mama. So yeah, good. my dream is to write for more artists. I'm currently working. I don't know if the songs will make it, but I love them. But I've been working with Jojo Siwa. Because oh. I love Jojo Siwa. Yeah, so I'm trying to give her some club bangers. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I can see it. Oh my God. I'm in WeHo now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're at heart. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, I want to start with the songwriting and everything like that and how you got into, like when you write songs for other artists, do you like sit down with them and you write it together or do you write the songs by yourself and then shop them out or how does that work It's always exactly? different. Like okay. that's the dream is to be in the room with them. Like with Jojo, I could be like, what do you want to sing about yeah. today? Like Rascal Flats, it, it all happened by luck. Like truly, I, I wrote love with, that song. So she freaked really? out when she found yeah, out. I love that well, song. I wrote it with Dan and Shay, and <gasps> I don't even, I don't even know. I don't think the lyrics are the best, but I think the melodies are great, and yeah. I think Shay's voice is like just as good, but better maybe if of like than Rascal Flatts. And we yeah. were like, God, you sound just like Rascal Flatts. And then we pitched it to them, and they were like, "Well, that sounds like us. Let's do it." You know, wow. like I think it just definitely helped our chances. Yeah. Um, but in Nashville, like everyone's writing for Rascal Flatts, so I was yeah. like, "There's no way that that got cut." And they're like, "They're singing it." And I remember going in the publisher's office and listening to Rascal Flatts singing my song, and I was like, "Like, how does that sobbing. feel?" Yeah, sobbing. yeah. Sobbing. I was crying, and I was like, "I made it." And it was like the same week that All About the Bass was being released, and I was like, "Oh, oh my, my dreams God. are happening at once." You oh know? my God. Yeah. It was bonkers. Do you feel like that helped all about the base? That base? No, a nobody, lot? Or was it completely nobody separate? Because I had no idea you wrote yeah, that. Yeah, no, nobody still knows. So, like, I have... All the plaques of the songs that are over for other artists are in my bathrooms at my house. So when guests, <laughs> yeah, when like, the guests they use have my bathroom, to look they at go, it. Yeah. hold up, did you do Sledgehammer yeah. by Vicar Harmony? And I'm like, period, I did. Like, <laughs> my husband, when he met me and like found out I wrote that song, he's like, that was my song. And oh I was my God. Like, that was Sledgehammer? The one, that was the one he was most impressed with. <laughs> he's 
like, no, Sledgehammer is the best <laughs> harmony song there is. It, was like, no, it was so, so good. That was it like was revolutionary. So sick because we were also doing radio shows together, like me and Fifth oh. Harmony. So I would watch them do their set and be like, that's my song. But you're and on. And then I'd go on set and do mine. You did a song with them on their album, correct? Uh, yeah, too? I did a, a couple of them. I did uh, Sugar Mama and Brave, Honest, and Beautiful. Yes. I can't remember the rest. Iconic, yeah. iconic. Um, have you ever had a situation where you wrote a song and whoever ended up getting it like didn't execute it the way you anticipated or thought? And like, like what's that? Like the opposite side of being super excited. And yeah, proud. as a mm. baby songwriter, I would ask the legendary songwriters like um, a Josh Keir or like in because I was in Nashville. I was like, do you get sad when other people sing your songs? And they're like, no, it's like that's our job. That's what we do. Will they ruin it sometimes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but like nobody knows the demo, yeah. so it was really tough because a lot of my demos, like I'm singing it, and mm -hmm. and I would get told like, "Yo, you're over singing it. Like you sound too good that the artist will be too scared to cut it." Oh. But when it's like girls like Fifth Harmony, they can all sing, and it was like they they were like, "We could take this," you know. Can I ask a oh. maybe dumb question? You keep saying no. "cut it." Can you oh, explain sorry. what that means? <laughs> I know that sounds bad. Cut it means they're gonna sing it and they keep it as their own song. Okay, like, they're gonna put their vocals on it. They're gonna cut it. I know that sounds. It sounds opposite. Yep, sounds opposite. Okay. They're gonna scratch that. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're gonna, they're gonna okay. take the song. I know yeah, I'm not the yeah. only one listening who was curious. You I know. just acted like I knew. I was like, that's fine, we'll but move like, on. J Lo was, we became friends, and she was no. like, I want beige. I worship her. And she was like, I'm looking for songs, and I want a song like Me Too. And I was like, okay, I'll do my best. And then one the day I was shooting my no music video, it sounds like a movie. None of this sounds real. It sounds like a movie. No, it's crazy. When I was shooting the no music video, I texted her that song and was like, hey, what about this? And she was like, my kids and I love it. Like, I'm going to cut it. And I was like, Which I definitely listen it. to No on the way here. Really? I think that's my favorite That's song. her favorite one. <laughs> I love that one. That's I like my that NSYNC one. song. Because yes. sometimes I'm like, I wish I was in a boy band. You know? <laughs> There's like five clones of you. The problem, yeah, the problem with me, I guess, as a songwriter, which is a great problem, is like I have eight different genres that I like to yeah. do. Yeah. So like when I came out with a doo-wop, like I was like, yeah, but I rap. And like I do all this other shit. And they were like, Mm, do the doo-wop stuff and I was like okay oh. so album two you can hear me being like mm, I'm a pop star like yeah. I am Rihanna and then <laughs> like <laughs> tried to do everything but also like I was raised by soca music because my uncle is Trinidadian so I have like calypso in me oh. and so that's where you hear like I won't let you down you'll hear those vibes yeah and I'll sneak it in there and that's what like blew people's minds in Nashville they're like what is this new yeah. pop shit? <laughs> <laughs> That's what all the cool kids yeah. are doing now. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What's your favorite song of your entire discography? Uh, this new album. Really? Like, there's some shit on here that you're going to be so proud of. Oh my but God. But I have gems. Like I have special diamond gems that I call, that I'm like, they're not diamonds, but I'm like, those are my little crystals. Like I Won't Let You Down mm -hmm. is a special tune. Kindly Calm Me Down. I don't know. Just a friend to you is great. That's my personal I'm favorite, like, as you saw on my blog. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I just like, because I go back to them and I look at it like a test and I'm like, oof, I A plus that songwriting, you know? Really? Mm. I'm like, oh, she got to, because I could be like, mm, that was a C plus. Like, yeah. that, I could have done better. I kind of gave up on that bridge. But wow. those, I'm like, meh. She did it. Do you ever go back and listen and kind of feel like almost emotionally put yourself back in where you were when you wrote it or when yeah, it really? Yeah. yeah. When I performed just a friend to you, I'm like, that was, that a, was a real one. heartbreak. And yeah. I'm like, mm. oh, just yeah. going back to and I, again. When I was on my last tour, I was dating Daryl and I had to sing this heartbreak song. Oh, um, and, and I would always get sad, but I was like in love with this yeah. new guy. Yeah. And I was like, but this still fucking sucked. And oh. like, but then I would sing Hope is a Romantic and that would be for Daryl. And I was like. Oh, Every, you God. always know what show. After. Yeah, after I did. <laughs> yeah, I gotta show go down. It was an up. emotional roller coaster for me. Oh my oh, God. How do you like ground yeah. yourself with that? Because obviously, I almost said food. Um, <laughs> like, family, That's fine. family, yeah. food, TV shows. Um, I, I don't know. Yeah, I think having my family around is like the best. And the fact that I have yeah. a good family that are my best friends. Yeah, it's so rare. It's so rare and so nice. And so I soak that up and I don't let them leave my house. They are living with me. <laughs> you're like, you're staying. I'm like, you're staying. <laughs> like, have you seen it out there? It's expensive. You're staying here. Yeah. Yeah, you know? <laughs> no. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, wait. I'm, I'm, I'm like jumping all around, but I have so many questions I love to it. ask. This is the best. Okay, let's. This is the best therapy session I've ever had. Oh, good. Oh, I'm good. Okay, you let's, lay down if let's you begin with all about that base. You, okay. It comes out, or actually, no, no, no. Like, walk us through before even okay. All About The Bass came out. I was a little songwriter. My biggest cut was Sabrina Carpenter. <laughs> Love. And like some <laughs> other cut in Italy. That was it. No. Some other song, songwriter or artist took my song. So All About The Bass was heard by L.A. Reid at Epic Records and they wanted to meet me. And I was like, Ooh, I don't I, I don't even like that song. Like I have this song called Brave, Honest, and Beautiful that's like 
more of what I'm doing, but okay, I'll play the bass one. That had like no auto tune. It wasn't clean. It wasn't produced. I was like, mm. and they like mastered it, took it as the raw demo and put it out wow. and signed me. Um, they wanted to sign for an album and I was like, I want to do a one song deal because everyone's telling me to do that. And they're like, just do the albums. So I signed for three albums Whoa. and then bass like, like I did a music video. I had no management and I didn't wear dresses oh. and I wore all black and I wore backwards hats. <gasps> and I was like, what am I doing here? I was like, is this like a cartoon character I'm going to play or is this what I'm going to look like every day? And they're <laughs> like, it's just for your video. And who and made that decision? Like the director of the video? The director of the video, yeah. Really? Tima Robinson. Yeah. Wow. She was great. She was yeah. just guiding me through all of my fear. I was yeah. like, what? We're doing a fitting. Do I get naked here? Yeah. <laughs> is, are people going to see me change? And she's like, you can go in the bathroom if you want. Like, I was so shy and so nervous. I, and now I'm at a place where I'm walking around my house naked, like, yeah. fitting, next. You yeah. know, I'm like, everyone touched me, it's fine. But <laughs> back then I had nobody and I was so scared. And we did the video and I remember being like, I'm so embarrassed that my friends in high school are going to see me like this. Oh like, my this God. is not me. I, I don't wear pastel. Like, yeah. This is so, I'm dancing. Like, how embarrassing. Like, I how could, old were you? I was 19. Oh, my God. And I, <laughs> and I Oh, my like, God. I was like, bro, like, to my brother who was in college, I was like, bro, all of her friends are going to see this. They're going to think I'm weird. And, like, <laughs> and I was like, well, luckily, no one will see it. I can I always <laughs> wanted to say, I can always say, like, I just want to sign a record deal. That's my, like, dying bucket wish. List. No one will see it. <laughs> Even if I'm not successful, whatever, I signed a deal. People see me as the artist, not just a songwriter. Yeah. And so I did the video. I put it out. No one will see it. Who cares? And then it got, like, 20K views. And I was like. Uh -oh. <laughs> and then Justin Bieber remixed it, and I was like, uh-uh. Oh. Like, I called my brother and was like, drop out of college. I need help. <laughs> yeah. What am I doing? Help. And oh. then I got management after it, like, blew up. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was like, help. I have a number one song, and I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Oh, my God. I did not know that. Yeah, I just had to catch up really fast. Yeah, How was it like when it was just going mega viral, and you weren't prepped for that at all? Uh it wasn't like time of TikTok or Instagram. I didn't like wake up and go, wow, I'm so famous. I was just like, uh, the song is doing good. I didn't even know what like charts were. I was a bad I music person. No, but I love that. Like, I, was, I just knew like, I want people to sing my songs. I didn't know like there were charts and you want, you had to like There's a win. Game to it's it all. a game. Yeah. yeah. And so they were like, you're number four. And I was like, fantastic. <laughs> and I was like, that's great. And everything was just thrown at me. And they, they, I remember I landed in Australia doing promo and they were like, it's number one. And I was crying but i didn't even really register what that meant yeah and i called my parents i was like it's one it's, <laughs> it's one, it is one. <laughs> they were like wow oh. and then like years later after putting out songs i was like oh not everything is number one oh, like, okay oh, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's so weird that one i didn't even do promo now i'm like killing myself doing yeah. all this promo like check out my new song and that one yeah it was just like a we call it my Macarena, you know? That's crazy, crazy phenomenon, though. Was title already done by the time that All About the Bass was out? Or did you have to get, no, like, thrown back in the studio like, and finish it? They were like, go back with the guy you did All About the Bass with and finish the album. No and I was way. Like, okay. So I was in Nashville finishing the album. And we still wore pastel. <laughs> no, no. Black leggings, black hoodies. Uh, so just the first. Just that music video. I was oh like, I God. look like a cartoon character. I'm like, kind of shocked that they didn't want to keep that. Because I wasn't confident and I didn't even know makeup went on your eyebrows. Like, that's where I came from. <laughs> my mom is like so naturally pretty. She doesn't put my, like yeah. foundation on barely. So I wasn't raised with that. I had two bros. Like, I was playing <laughs> football. Like, <laughs> I, I know. I didn't know fashion and I'm just learning now. But. Um, yeah, I was so nervous and I was like, you guys just tell me what to wear. I'm not sure. How did you handle like feedback from that? So, like going that viral then? It was different than now. Yeah. I, I like didn't really hear about it. Oh, <laughs> I really? Like, I guess it's doing well. I don't know. Yeah. And then I would hear in interviews, they'd be like, so your song is number one in 50 countries or whatever. It's fucking all <laughs> like, over the really? world. And I was oh like, well, damn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cause you didn't even have a team to keep you updated no. at that point. Whoa. Whoa. That's yeah. crazy. It's like, mom, I'm, I'm in Italy today. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but yeah. And I was alone and I got sick a lot cause it was just like traveling and oh, I didn't know how to take care of myself. Guess. Oh my God. It was lonely for a few years. And then when I like 
made money and was finally successful because you don't make money till like nine months or a year after the song comes out. Okay, so I was like know. baroque doing yeah. all this. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> they were like, we can't afford glam. I was like, but I don't do makeup. So <laughs> like, what do you want me to do? Yeah, I had. I just talked to the radio girl who did my glam at a radio show back like ten years ago. Oh my god, she oh. saved my ass. Thank you, Nikki. Oh my um, but yeah, we were just rolling around. Like I look back, like how did I survive? Yeah. At that time, when the song came out, was the general consensus in those interviews that you were doing all about like body positivity and just like that the whole m- yeah. meaning of all about yeah. The they were like, you're changing the game, but also they were like, are you gonna be a one hit wonder? And I was oh my like, god, mm. they say that to you? Oh yeah. Oh They're my like, god. Do you think you'll just be the base girl? And I was like, well, I hope not, because that sucks. If I'm just that's just so that bass girl forever but and, and then for years like like it was my spy kids like daryl was like i'm just the spy kids boy forever and i'm like i had to teach him like no 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 you're iconic yeah. and then while yeah. teaching him that i was like oh that's my base yeah like i i like Ooh, I love changed this. the game with that yeah like, and and i helped people be confident i learned in the meet and greets how special it was because the parents would come up to me and say my you're about to meet my kid who was suicidal and didn't go to school that until your song me. came oh out. And I'm like sobbing, trying to keep it together. Like, oh my God, oh, yeah. hi. Like, and so I was like, oh, I have a superpower. Got it. And that was my base. Oh. And that was my ass. No, that was my base. <laughs> and teaching Daryl that that's what Spy Kids is. Now he's finally like, oh, I get it. I'm a legend. I'm like, yes. Wait, that's so sweet. Yeah. I feel like that's there's why so we have much to so much right right and I know. Yeah, okay, relationship. Like, I won. I won. How'd you guys meet? I'm also obsessed um, with how much he's obsessed with you because <laughs> likewise. <laughs> he's my number one fan. Yeah. He literally plays bad for me every morning during a shower. Stop. <laughs> um, I met him through Chloe Grace Moretz, who's an actress. Oh, yes. She's love amazing. Her. Love yeah. her. We went on a double date with her and Brooklyn Beckham at the time. And because I, I told her, I was like, I just really want to meet a nice guy. And I was like, at this point, I just want to hook up because when I got famous and prettier, no guys would talk to me. I was like, am I giving off, like, vibes? Like, <laughs> am I scary? And my brother's like, no, dude, you're loud for sure. But, like, you're not giving off scary vibes. They that were just intimidated, no I'm one sure, by your success. Me. Like, even we would be at Vegas with my bro, and I'd, I'd fly everyone there, and he had all his guy friends with him. And I was like, dude, one of these guys is going to make out with me at midnight. Like, <laughs> mm, here it is happening. And nobody would kiss me, and I had to kiss my girl best friend. And I was like... Am I scary? But anyway, so I was like, I just want to hook up. So then she got us on a double date. And then immediately I was like, oh, my God, I'm in love with him. And I was like, did you tell him I just want to hook up? She was like, yeah, don't worry. And I was like, no. Tell him. I want to be girlfriend. Tell him. Tell him. I want it forever. So fix this. And she was like, okay, okay. On the first date, you realize you're like obsessed with him already? Well, he's like the first guy ever that was nice to me, but also... Like we were bowling, it was like a magical moment. Okay, oh my God, cute. I, we were bowling, and I finally got a strike because I was terrible because I was nervous, and we were ripping shots. And <laughs> I, I got a strike, and he came up to me, and he like lifted my chin up with his finger like a fairy tale, and gave me a soft, gentle kiss. I'm like, you did it, babe. And I was like, have we been dating for four years? That was like, the first date. Yeah. Oh my God. I was like, hubba hubba. And oh. then we got <laughs> we got in the car to go to the next place, which was a karaoke place, and we were in the back seat just making out hardcore. And I was like yo, you're almost as good as kissing as I am. Like, <laughs> you know when you know you're a good kisser? I was yeah. like, you're a good kisser. And then he said some lame-ass line that's like, um, he's a Gemini and I'm a Capricorn and our sex signs match up oh. really well. And I was like, how do you know this <laughs> Like right off and the bat, that, yeah. Yeah, I was like, who, like, he's like, we're compatible. And I was like, facts, I feel it. Facts. <laughs> Is he really into astrology or did he just make no, it up? No, he like just like knew that fact. It oh. was like fun fact. And he I was studied like, okay. it. He's also like a goofy, like always had da- dad jokes. Oh. So I laugh at him mostly, yeah. but it's so cute. And yeah. he's, he's the only person I've ever met that's like, well, as long as everyone's laughing, you know? I love that. Because in my family, like we're Massachusetts, like we will attack you and like, pick <laughs> on you because out of love. Yeah. And he's the only one that could hang. And I was like, we need to get married. Oh my God. <laughs> Speaking yeah. of uh, marriage. Oh no. Are you getting married? No. Oh, I wish. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> You're like, I win. Literally, so we've been really close friends for almost, f- has it been four or five years? Yeah, I think mm-hmm. so. I think probably like the first month we became like close friends. She was like, oh my God, you have to watch this video. Your wedding video. Like the amount it's of It's only time- three years old, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. There yes, there yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the amount of times I've watched it at her house, because she's like, let's oh. watch it. She's like, this is what my wedding will be like. No. Like, I, I almost actually. brought my husband here. He was like, should I come? I was like, yeah, 
her, but then we decided not to. Uh, she, he was like, let's, let's let you have this moment. I was like, thanks. <laughs> that was more so looking out for me. Yeah. Um, I need to tell everyone that you randomly FaceTimed me yesterday. I did. I was just standing in my kitchen and my phone's ringing and I look and I'm like, no. <laughs> Oh, I picked it up and the first thing I said is you can't just do that you're not allowed like no she doesn't even FaceTime I me you hardcore, can't just FaceTime I me I hardcore FaceTime anybody at any time I love that though okay good it's nice I'll be in my shower and I'll FaceTime you like, perfect hey. can't wait <laughs> and then Daryl grabs the phone and just started talking and he was like how are you I was like honestly not well I'm, I'm not really doing so well right now like, I couldn't tell if her vibe was like she didn't like wasn't excited to see me. And I was oh. like, she was, dude, she was just starstruck. Like, no, she was just <laughs> I was profusely, so I immediately, I kept my face after we hung up, immediately called her okay, good. freaking out. Please tell him I love him so much as <laughs> okay, well. Hello. He's an icon. Right, he's watching this. It'll be great. Big, Hi, big, big, big fans. fans. <laughs> okay, that's amazing though. And so then after yeah. you became boyfriend and girlfriend and the rest is history. Well, days after our first date was the 4th of July and I had a family party and I invited him. And then I was like, just kidding. Don't come through. Like, you're going to meet the family day three. Yeah. And he's like, no, I'm coming. I was like, wow, he's brave. Mm. And I was in a bathing suit. And I was like, I've never been in front of a bathing suit in front of a boy. Like, what? What am I doing? Like, that's how nervous I was. And he came and my whole family loved him. And it was great. And then days after that, I was like, okay, I'm leaving for tour. Want to visit? And then he came to the first few shows and then never left. And my family was like, what's this? Is he going, is he going to stay? And I was like, mm -hmm. oh. he's, he's here forever. And then my house was being done being built when in the middle of tour and we got to the house and he packed up his bags after we slept there that night. And I was like, where are you going? And he was like, well, I'm going to go home. And I was like, this is home. Like, oh. and we're like, okay, what? We're, we're like months in month one in the middle of tour. I wrote marry me in his face and was like, no. we're getting married, <laughs> you know, and I was like, we're going to have children. So it was like aggressive. But I love that he wasn't scared. Like that to me is a true testament right. as yeah. you guys being perfect for and each other. And he would say stuff like, I, I didn't picture myself being married or having kids until I met you. And I was like, you want to impregnate me <laughs> and you want to marry me. <laughs> I was like, good to know because I'm also down. Back <laughs> off a little. But it was, you know, when they say like, you just know when you know. Yeah. Like we knew aggressively early on. Like, <sighs> oh. Also, um, Chloe is such a teenager at the time. She literally was 19, I think. But um, we went to a restaurant with her like day four of doing our every single day was a date and like sleeping over. And he went to go pee and she said, do you love him? And I was like, oh, I'm madly in love with him. But don't say anything. It's day four. Fuck up. <laughs> and then he went pee and he, she was like, she loves you. Do you love her? Because I'll fucking kill you if you don't love her back. And he's like, of course I do. But don't tell her that. Aww. So then like we both knew we both loved each other. Like Dave. Dave that's like so 19 year old to do. So 19 year old to do. <laughs> but it's and she's perfect. like Snapchat texting me like, so you're good. He loves you back. And I was like, <laughs> as we're in the bathroom. <laughs> and then all night long, we like knew and we were just being like cute and weird. And I was like, oh. He's not going to say it, but he should say it. And then um, I was like, is there anything you want to tell me? And he was like, uh, I'm enamored by you. And I was like, enamored? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? And I, he like Googled it and was like, could be falling for someone. And I was like, cute. And then I went to the bathroom and slammed the door. And he was like, oh my God, she hates me. And then I came back and he was like. You would do that. I did do that. Literally. I literally said, do you have anything to tell me? Yeah. Is there something you'd like to say? Yeah. But I came back from the bathroom and he was like. I, I don't want to scare you, but I, like I'm falling for you, and I was like, took you long enough. And he, this is literally still like, day four. Yeah, it was like <laughs> the first before day six. So yeah, he's like, well, do you love me too? I was like, oh my god, of course I do. I always have. So yeah, I always have. Yeah, for the past seventy two oh, hours. Yeah. <laughs> Since you were his five kids. So <laughs> my whole life. Oh my so God. did he grow up in, in LA then if he was in Yeah, he's from Torrance. Oh, California. okay. Yeah. Okay, so okay. He's been here. But also a crazy story is like when I was a young songwriter and nobody knew me, I came out here at like nineteen and I went to like a songwriter party in a mansion. Oh my and God. Was sick. And Spy Kids, him, crashed the party. Stop. Stop. And I, he didn't know who I was, and I fangirled so hard, and I was drunk, and I was like, I'm gonna go up to him, fuck it. And I went up to him, and was like, Are you Spy Kids? And he was like, yeah. Are you Spy Kids? Did you come? Spy Kids, yeah, not Junie? I, I was like, Are you Spy Kids? He was like, Yeah. And I was like, I'm sick. And Wait. then later, I was like, Yo, Spy Kids, like all night long. And he'd be like, Megan. Oh. And then he claims he remembered me. But like You're then like, years later we went on the date and I was like this is be embarrassing but like I met you at a party years ago and called you out and like smoked a joint with you and he was like <laughs> I remember you and I was like no you don't but he claims he does I feel like he probably I feel did like he does I and he it's was. crazy because what's scary is that hopeless romantic the lyrics that I wrote were like I bet I met you before at a party Stop. 
and you were sweet and held open the door and I'm like I'm ho- I'm waiting for you like I'm ready and I this manifested it you're Isn't a queen crazy? manifester no that's insane yeah. that's insane and how's it being a new mom the greatest, the oh greatest thing God. ever. Cutest he's baby so ever. Cute. He's so blind, and I love it. <laughs> his glasses. His glasses. <laughs> How did you find out that he needed glasses? Um, I we had no idea. Yeah, he's such a happy boy. He didn't walk into walls. Like my brothers are blind, pretty much. They're oh. like they cannot see, and they're like this. They're not sight <laughs> and colorblind. And my brother, oh, back in the day, you couldn't get glasses till you were like five. They yeah. couldn't figure it out. Yeah, and my brother literally walked into walls, but. Um, at technology is thriving yeah. and they, Science had, is they had binoculars look at him and he, they took a picture of him and they were like, one of his eyes is a little going in. So we had a specialist look at it and she was like, he's not using that left eye because it's so much to focus it. And I was like, oh, my baby boy can't see me. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fix and when he put him on, he was like cracking up. I put a whole video together. Oh, yeah, so cute. Videos. Yes. So cute. Yeah. So it's a whole new world for him. I've always wondered that. There were a bunch of kids growing up with me that didn't get glasses till like maybe the second grade or so. I, I got them in fourth grade and I could finally see everything, but you can't, how do you tell your parents that you need glasses? How you don't you know what tell? you're missing. Yeah, you think it's just like, it's supposed to be blurry. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, bonkers. And now they can give it to a six month old. Oh so my God. parents out there, check your babies. You know? Wow. Have you talked about how much you want him like in the industry or anything like that? Um, I just knew it'd be too hard to be like, don't ever post him. Yeah. So I was like, fuck it. And also I had this thing. I was like, if he's a cute baby, I'll post him. If he's ugly, I won't. <laughs> you know, like. You wouldn't be able to tell. If, I was like, if he's bonkers looking, I'm not going to like blast him. But he was so cute. He was a little he's model. So and I was cute. like, I'm blasting him. Everyone off limit, like go nuts. Yeah. So I let anyone post him now. It's fine. But. <sighs> Um, I don't post like if he's having a meltdown. I think sometimes yeah. when I see moms post like a screaming toddler and how they figured out, I'm like, mm-hmm, yeah, I don't yeah. want him to be embarrassed about it later. Yeah, but yeah, and I everything's a discussion. Everything with Daryl, everything is a conversation. So that's why we're so great because we communicate of like, hey, that makes me feel bad. I don't like that. Okay, fix it. So yeah. with um with our baby, it's like. Are you cool to do this Gerber deal? Because I'm cool to do it. <laughs> he's like, yeah, he's a Gerber baby. Let's fucking go. Yeah. He is a Gerber baby. <laughs> to me, he looks like, you know, those um like generators where you put your photo and then like your boyfriend's photo. It's yeah. like a perfect, <laughs> perfect mesh. Match. And it kind of pisses me off when people are like, it's a copy and paste of your husband. I'm like, that's my nose. No, you. Like, he looks yeah. like you. He has like your eyes that's and your my nose, eyes I feel my like. Nose. Mm-hmm. This area is me. Thank God he got Daryl's lips because I have no <laughs> lips. But yeah, it is a blender of us. So yeah, he's perfect. Oh and I'm obsessed God. and I want three more. Oh <gasps> Has it been everything that you were expecting motherhood to be? No. <laughs> um, well, just like the birth and like the pregnancy. Um, it could be tough. I got gestational diabetes, which was like annoying, <gasps> but like. We, we thrived. We did it. I had a Daryl. And, like, I'm trying to write a book about it because your partner needs to be there. Like, my my Daryl made me breakfast every morning to, like, make sure my blood sugars were perfect. Yeah. Oh. Checked my blood for me all day long. Like, when I had my C-section, I couldn't pull up my diapers that were full of blood. Sorry. And he oh. would pull up my pants for me. Like, oh. he would wash my body. Like, you need a partner like that when you go through this. Yeah. So, I'm writing a book to be like... Make sure that your partner is prepared. I like love that. <laughs> that's so yeah. great. I'm sure there's like not enough books on that in general yeah. too. People We're don't just know like what to do. raw and open. I'm like, here's how my nipples were during breastfeeding. Like yeah. everything, <sighs> and I don't even know how I'm allowed to say, but whatever. Keep it. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. But yeah, it's uh, it, it was. I didn't think I'd have a C-section. I thought I'd be pushing it out. Yeah. You know? And he didn't wake up for like a week, so I was like, "Where's that cry?" And they're like, "So he's not crying." <gasps> and we're like, <sighs> "Like there was a lot of." Things and then if you don't get that hour long skin to skin, yeah. you got no milk. So I wasn't making milk at all. I, I didn't know like, any of that. Yeah. Oh my god, I could teach you so much. Oh my god. Now. I'm like but I want I, one my, so bad. My mom, my whole family, like were cows and just breast milk flowing out them. And uh-huh. I was like, I'm gonna need another fridge. <laughs> like we should buy one now for when all this <laughs> milk comes out of me. Nothing. <gasps> all day long would pump like a little bottle, and I was like, oh, that's not it. Oh my oh god. god. But I did it. Tried and. <laughs> This gla- every new milestone is like a new fun challenge of like, oh, he's blind? Had no idea. Like, <laughs> we checked his earrings hearing the other day, like, just in case. Like, oh my God. He's perfect. No, so. it's good to keep up. When's yeah. his birthday? 
February 8th. That's what I thought. I I'm February 7th. Oh Shut up. Yes. Did I I birth you? Aquarius. I wish. <laughs> Aquarius. I fellow Aquarius. Best. I love being an Aquarius. I love it. But I that's like the whole thing. I want you want every to be baby unique. to be in February. I love a February. He's going to love it. It's the yeah. best. His birthday parties can't be very, like, you're limited with you're birthday gonna parties. You're going to be at his birthday party. Oh, my God. February 8th, be there. I, I will cancel like, my birthday to be at his birthday over, party. But, like, <laughs> I'll take care of you. That's so fine. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's gonna be sick. I'm building like a water park in my backyard. Stop. Yeah, because like they're like Aquarius loves. That's not the reason why I'm building it, but they're like <laughs> Aquarius is gonna love water. I'm like great because wait, are you already water park? You're planning a second birthday already? A second birthday? Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully the pool will be done, so <gasps> we could be like pool party. Oh my god. You're both welcome. Okay, I'll be there. Please. Please. I mean, Thank you so much. We'll be the oldest ones there. <laughs> All his friends. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about you guys, but during summer, I just love staying at home. I've been laying in my pool every single day, soaking up the sun, and the last thing I want to do is honestly leave my house lately. So Same. it's amazing. And there are so many times where I'm making like a little margarita or I'm having a glass of wine. And if I run out, I don't want to go to the store. So DoorDash has been coming in clutch and even better, they have something called Dash Pass now. Which clearly I need because I too was in the pool this weekend and every single time the thought of like going to get food, you know, or making food <laughs> came up, I was too like, much. I could just, I could just DoorDash this. And I wish I had the DoorDash Pass because clearly I would have gotten a lot more with the Dash Pass. Basically guys, during the summer of Dash Pass, you can save money and access new members only offers every week on top of $0 in delivery fees all year round. Say hello to summer savings during the summer of Dash Pass from DoorDash with $0 delivery fees, exclusive items, and more than 25,000 members only offers nationwide. Dash Pass by DoorDash has everything you need to make your summer memorable. With your Dash Pass by DoorDash membership, you can save an average of $4 to $5 on every order you place for delivery or pickup. That means on average, Dash Pass pays for itself when you order just twice a month, which we all know is very easy. <laughs> With members only offers and items dropping every week, you'll have everything you need to make the most out of summer right at your fingertips. Shine bright during DoorDash's Summer of Dash Pass and get 50% off your first order up to a $15 value. Use promo code PRETTY at checkout when you spend $12 or more. That's 50% off your first order up to a $15 value when you sign up for DoorDash during Summer of Dash Pass using promo code PRETTY. Don't forget that's code PRETTY for 50% off your first order up to a $15 value. Dash Pass benefits only on eligible orders that meet the minimum subtotal. Terms apply. Is your brother single, by the way? Yes, very. Is he looking? He, he says he's <laughs> I've heard not. he's like in a little bit of a phase, but that's yes. okay. I wish he was here. Oh, this is great. Um, He... He... Every time I ask him, he's like, leave me alone. And I'm like, okay, but that's how he was with therapy. I really want it. <laughs> I love that for you. I think it'd be a cute couple, don't you? Cute family, yes. I love that. He, um, He's a gem. He just like... Has been sober for a year now, and he's like, I'm trying to love me first because he really is really hard on himself, which my whole family is. We all are. Like, every song I write, I'm like, Is this trash at first? And then I'm like, Oh, that's good. And everything I do, I'm very critical. And he's like that emotionally. And he's like, I'm a loser that lives with my sister. I'm like, No, you're smart and mm -hmm. you're saving money. Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, You're just looking at it wrong, you mm -hmm. know? So I'm trying to get him out of his funk and go on dating apps because I'm ready for a sister. Hey, sis. Alicia. Hey, sis. Wait, can we like set them up on a date for real? Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> Wait, could you do a pod collab swap collab. after and they can talk please, about please it? Please come on my podcast, please. <laughs> oh, please. I have a podcast called Working On It. Please watch it, please. It's so good. Yes. I have a question about just your like dynamic with your brother because I have a younger brother who's kind of struggled a bit with the fact that I am more famous. like not famous but I, you know you know like i i, I had that with I my have followers younger brother i think that's the thing I has he that, struggled with I it at all i only had that with my younger brother okay my younger brother said he was scared of me for a year oh. he didn't recognize me he didn't and that made me want to cry i was like what do you mean he's like well you're different now and i was like what he's like well you just you know like like you wear makeup and you're successful and you're, and I was like what like, He's like and it's grab scared a football him. <laughs> and i was like bro it's me and now we're like yeah. closer than ever but it was it was like weird. And I think because I was left so long, like I was yeah. working all across Aww. the world. So I wasn't home and he was like in high school. So I think like we, I, I after that too, I was like, I can't ever let you guys leave my side ever again. Yeah. And I think that was the like, come move in this mansion with me, yeah. please. Yeah, and yeah, like yeah. never leave my sight. And my little brother is still like, I want to live in Utah. And I'm like, absolutely not. Like, <laughs> Wait, does right. the younger one no. live with you too? He's like, it's so expensive. Yeah, both of them. Oh, I didn't know He's both in my live kitchen. with you. Oh, yeah. Stop. He's like, it's so expensive here. I'm moving. And I'm like, I'll never let you do that. Like, <laughs> it's not a choice. Well, not I need option. to see you every morning and night. Oh. Like, I don't get that. That's so sweet, though. And I, and it, it, I don't understand, like, when people are like, I see my sister on Christmas. And that's it. I'm like, <gasps> 
No. <laughs> but my best ew. friends. <laughs> yeah, ew. Did ew, Ash gross. ever struggle with you being more so in the spotlight? Yeah, so I have an older sister, and I think for her more so, similar thinking of like, oh, I still live with my sister. I want to live on my own. Um, I feel like it's less about spotlight and more about that. Like she like wants her independence That's that way. Yeah. Also because my brothers are boys, they're mm-hmm. like <laughs> trained at a young age. Like my brother had a meltdown of like, how am I supposed to take care of a family someday and support them? And blah, blah, blah. Cause that's like drilled into them. And I'm like, times have changed. You yeah. can marry yourself a boss woman who will do it for you, honey. Like for sure. Like don't worry about it. You're fine. Take your sweet time. And like me in the meantime, Stay at my house. You yeah, know? You're, you're <laughs> like, like and in the meantime, I'm like, in the meantime, Ryan. the pool's being built. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm building my brother a putting area in our. Oh top. my god! Because I'm like, you're you're sober, you win, and yeah. this is your reward. Yeah. I love you. Stay here forever. Yeah. Like, Best sister ever. He's like, you're making it hard to leave, man. You're like, oh, I am. <laughs> I'm like, what? What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> I want them to be comfy. Oh my god. I got. I need a house tour. This sounds fucking amazing. Oh my god, you're gonna love it. Come over tomorrow. <laughs> I'm excited I'm for doing the bathroom. Nothing tomorrow. Yeah. Come over. Okay, so we'll the be toilets. Over is yeah. that what you mean? Oh yeah. my god, that's oh, what we wanted to ask yes, about. Yes, Megan. yes. <laughs> yeah, the toilets are a hit. Did you think that would go viral? <laughs> no, <laughs> I thought like someone might be interested in it. I didn't think it'd go viral the way it did. To a point where like it affected our relationship. Like Daryl was like, "You need to stop," and I was like, <laughs> "Why? People love it." And my mom too. When she, I'm so personal and open about everything, and she's like. Did you have to talk about your anal fissures on TikTok? And I'm like, Mom, everyone has them. It's fine. And she's like, We're normalizing yeah, it. Yeah, normalize it. Um, and the toilet. She's like, enough with the toilet talk. And I'm like, whatever. It's fine. I love it. Do you guys <laughs> actively use the toilets at the same time? This morning we did. Stop. Every day, yeah. <gasps> it's the best part. We hold hands when we pee. Stop. He sits while he pees, which he's mad that I told him all that too. <laughs> It's early. It's early. He's tired. He's a dad. Is it only peeing or do you do other things as well? We've done the other thing, but it wasn't fun. And I was like, never again. (laughs) Okay. That makes more sense. Yeah. That was the one thing when I got into my relationship, my best, best friend, who's like a serial dater and always has long-term boyfriends was like, never number two that's as soon as you oh, do no, that he'll hang done. out with me while i poop stop oh yeah <gasps> it was just i can't take his poops oh mm-hmm. understand sorry also. daryl gnarly <laughs> <laughs> like man poops are a different fucking yeah, level but true. like my poops don't smell so <laughs> you don't poop though so it doesn't matter <laughs> but he will be like megan i'm like come on in and oh we'll hang out God. Or like, and Riley's just there too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like want to come pee with me and he's like yeah I'm what a way to bond me. though it's but it's funny, I have like a couple friends who are older and they're like, oh, they're like, what? And then the young Gen Z is like, no. You know? <laughs> I will say it was worldwide news. Like oh, it was yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Did you talk to someone about it? Um, and yeah, it, blew it was up? on a podcast and it blew up. Oh, but, it was the podcast. Okay. Um, uh, but Fallon picked it up too. So I did the uh, Tonight, uh, whatever, Fallon show. And then he picked up the pictures and I was like, aha, yeah, <laughs> there they are. You're like, that is, yep. That's them. When they yeah. built it, were like, was the contractor like confused? Yeah, he, the plumber, Mike. Hi, Mike. Thanks. He, <laughs> he was like, I heard we went viral. I was like, we sure did, buddy. <laughs> he, I was like, I have an extra toilet, and in the bathroom before it was a toilet and a bidet, and I was like, nobody's gonna use that. I was like, can you pop this other toilet there? And he was like, <laughs> oh. and I was like, get it done. And he was like, <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. And he did it, and everyone laughs, and it's like the hit when yeah. I give a tour. I'm like, and there they are. Oh, oh my God. And it's my favorite part of my house. It's yeah. the focal point. It's that the and the songs that you've written for other people, both yeah. of those two. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. in the same room, too. Well, no, there's two bathrooms downstairs, and those are the those ones, are the ones with okay. the other things. But upstairs in our in our bedroom, there's the there's our toilet. The, the real main, prize. The main thing. Real <laughs> prize. And what really shocks people, which is funny, is that there's, I have a calendar on the wall. Of like, here's what's coming up this month, and they're like, you just sit here and look at your calendar. I'm like, yes, <laughs> kind of genius. Like, yeah, kill two the one stone. I, like, well. I think I'm living life like better than everyone. Yeah, and they're You're just like, like, why is no one else catching like, on? Oh, to this? Whoa, calendar <laughs> better than scrolling TikTok for thirty yeah, minutes, which is what I, I do. That do. Too, but yeah, you I also can't poop unless TikTok is running. No, mm-hmm. literally same. Yeah. And then you put it down to wash your hands, and it's the same one over and over <laughs> yeah, and over yeah, yeah. again. Like I'm really up the views. I need them to like somehow implement. It being Going able to swipe for me. You right? can, you can. Shut up, no. There's a way, I don't know how. <gasps> it's like in your settings. Someone said it. Because they're like, are you <gasps> sick of the same thing playing over and over again? I'm like, yes. I just, we're just not smart enough. Oh but my I'm God. friends with TikTok. I can figure it out. Please let me know. I'm friends with TikTok. Ask them to also remove the I'm guy that goes, with- stop. You've been watching for I a hate long time. I try to put not ads. interested. Listen, the ads are getting out of control. They are. I know. They what are. do I have to pay to get these fucking 
do you want to go to college? No, I don't. <laughs> like, I do okay. don't want to be a nurse. Like, <laughs> keep going. Yeah. I know it. And like the first second, I know if it's an ad. I'm like, yeah. Hey. Yes. I, hate yes. I hate it. It's like, I understand YouTube obviously does ads, but it's also way more far and few. I feel like every yeah. like five to, to eight minutes is YouTube. Every like three TikToks, I get an ad now. Oh yeah. It's too much. Too much. Yeah. Talk Figure to your TikTok out. people. You're obviously <laughs> blowing up on TikTok. Yeah. You're I like, am. I'm popping off. You are. No. Thank you. You're it's TikTok been, famous. It's been a lot of work and I love it. It's so good. You know why? Because Chris Olsen. Chris Olsen. <laughs> okay. Give us a little backstory on that as well. Uh, listen, I'll have my few hits here and there. <laughs> and it's like, because I have Jojo Siwa in it, but <laughs> that's not the point because I'm smart. Um, <laughs> But recently, like with this album, I was like, okay, TikTok is the place. Yeah. Like, I know it. I know it for a fact. And I, I want help. And I don't want to hire like some company that thinks like, yeah. oh, we know what the TikTok wants. I'm like, no, you don't. I want proof. Chris Elson had the numbers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But also I wanted to be his best friend. So yeah. this was like two wins for one, whatever I'm saying. Um, I was like, I, I want you to help me. Like, give me ideas for TikTok. Because the ideas are the hardest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he just like, He's just he'll have 30 spewing. ideas. Yeah. He'll come over with his notepad and be like, okay, so we check mark that one. Let's do this one. And I'll be like, well, will you do it with me? And he's like, of course. And oh we'll do God. some for his page and for mine. Wait, so were, Everybody you, wins. were you not childhood friends? Was that photoshopped? What? Oh, I'm no. so childhood friends with him. No. <laughs> Remy. No. <laughs> no. No, I've known him since birth. No, <laughs> not me being hoodwinked. I've been telling everyone you're <laughs> childhood best friends. Wait, was it photoshopped? What? Yeah. Wait, uh, cannot, yeah. confirm nor deny. cannot confirm nor deny. I can't believe I believed it this whole time. No, everyone did. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, wait, how? I was like, Nantucket, man. He did go Nantucket, to be fair. He okay. went like one yes. time. Yeah. And well, no, no, he goes like in the summer. Oh, okay. I was like, 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 he's been there. I not see you. And right. he's like, I'm Four years younger than you or something. He's like five years younger than you. He's young, yeah. So did you slide in the DMs? Uh, How did I get Chris? Oh, no. I invited him to be on my podcast. Oh. And then that day he was like, let's record TikToks. And I was like, period. And then I was like, wait, you really like on your shit. Yeah. Like, can you do this for me? And he was like, of course. And then like, I was like, no, seriously. Can you do it <laughs> till the album comes out? Like, <laughs> and then some? And yeah. he was like, yeah. Wait, and people are like so catching on and they're like, Chris is, you're hanging out with Chris too much. And I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> We're working. I've yeah. told so many people you guys are childhood best Keep friends. Going. I, I will. Yeah, it was yeah. like, TikTok we loves that. a lie because they love to be the ones that's like, I figured it out. For sure. Yeah. Gen- genius. You got the best of the best though. I got the best. They're yeah. really good. The, the croc. But he um, also heels. teaches me stuff. So I'll post my own TikToks and be like, I made daddy Chris proud. It's like a whole new level of feeling proud of myself when I make a TikTok. Also, like, I felt very, like, not famous at all during COVID and, um, like, didn't feel like I accomplished anything. Like, I got really, uh, I don't know. I went into a weird place. And then I've noted, like, I went out in public. Nobody recognized me. I never took a picture once. Like, I had a mask on, but I don't know. Sometimes when I didn't, they wouldn't recognize me. And then recently, after been blown up on TikTok, I went to Alfred's and everyone's Love. like, that's Megan Trainor. And I was like, <laughs> yes. She's famous on TikTok. It's like, true like, though. You're like, she's, she's famous a TikToker. Again. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, what if someone thinks you're just a TikToker? We Literally. get that sometimes. We're like, yeah. no, I got an, an interview today. They're like, you're an influencer. I was like, I am. <laughs> I, I'm a full influencer now. I am. So find me on TikTok. What is your opinion on, you know how like Halsey came out and was saying that her record label was like forcing, yeah, forcing her to make TikToks. What's your opinion on that? And just in the music industry. <sighs> Shit. Um, <laughs> I can see if you're not like a lover of TikTok, if you're not into that, like if you haven't felt that high yet when you <laughs> get <laughs> when you I'm being big stopped numbers. for TikTok yeah. famous. <laughs> I'm like, I get, I, I remember in the beginning when it was musically, my team was like, hey, can you, it was just another one of the promo yeah. things. I'm like, hey, can you stand here and lip sync to your song? And I was like, well, who's going to see this? Like, yeah. why? Why am I wasting my time doing this? And they didn't do anything. And I was like, this is lame. And the, every song they're like, can you do it again? I was like, mm hmm. And yeah, yeah. did the whole thing. <laughs> and, but then it like took a whole different turn and it was like, um, no, make the song like a meme and mm-hmm. make it a trend and make it a, um, sometimes make it a dance. But even that was like forcing it hard. Yeah. Like I put a song out in COVID that was like, make you dance. And I was like, I'm going to make TikTok dance. And it didn't do anything. Yeah. I was like, fuck. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, I'm too on the nose. I'm too behind. So <laughs> now it's all about like, find the funny meme and make your song happen or connect with these people. It's just like a new way. It's like a whole different fan base than my Instagram yeah. and my YouTube. It's like a whole new sea of people. Yeah. And it's like 11 million people over there that aren't on my Instagram. Yeah. And it's a whole nother audience. And they're like, 
whoa, I thought you were tired. And I'm like, no, baby. I've been here <laughs> like, like, I've been I'm just been here. Just been in the woodwork. Yeah, I'm like, I have plenty of albums for you. Oh my God. But I think it's it makes great. sense. Like for you, you can tell you just genuinely love TikTok, yeah. which is yeah. why people are interested in also, watching it. Also your personality is so good for it. My, mm-hmm. my label hasn't yelled at me, like they're do like, this wow, because they're it. like, <laughs> no, yeah. you're on <laughs> it. TikTok away, it's great. <laughs> did you start, I know Tidal blew up again yeah. as a TikTok sound. Was yeah. that you who started it or did someone else? It was like fans that made up these dance moves. And I was like, my mom's like, do the dance. I was like, okay. And I then I saw it like popping off. Yeah. And I woke up feeling like it was my birthday. Oh, I was like, oh, I love that. Am I winning? That's like, that's like such an old song game. for you yeah. too. That's so, so nice. Because it, it meant so much to me too because that was supposed to be my second single after bass. <gasps> like we did a whole music video. Me and Ellie oh, Reed were like, this is the one. This yeah. is so good. And then it just ran to Lips from Hooven because I wrote that last. And oh. they were like, well, this one's great. And I was like, all right, fine. And then it just got lost. She like, never got her moment. Back in the day, we like gave it to Japan YouTube and we we're like, you can have it. Or the UK, we like gave it to a whole nother country. And then it was trapped over there. And I was like, we just don't get it over here. That doesn't make sense. But is that how like, that works? Back then, there was like all these exclusives. Like oh. they, they get to have it. And I was like, okay, well, since it's popping on TikTok, can we have that music video back? Yeah. Like, it was a hard day and yeah. it was like a great video and it's a good song so then we got it back and it was it was awesome to see like an old song pop off the power of tiktok yeah. have you had any other songs go super viral on tiktok um yes uh better when i'm dancing yes what, yes the best part is that's another one that like the label was like you could do better try again and i was like no mm. i like this you got jennifer garner to dance you to it jennifer. <laughs> yeah that was so cute I, it was another one of those i fought really hard and was like i think this is a good song and they were like it doesn't make sense i'm like yes it does wow um, so uh, that was like a win for me, but also like my deep love songs that are or like my deep songs that I'm like so proud of, like my mom's song mm-hmm. pops off every Mother's Day. Yeah, and I brushed my yeah. teeth one morning with my little bro, and I was like, bro, you know what we should do? Just make a Mother's Day song, <laughs> like <laughs> that. We open your card and it sings the song. I was yeah. like, that's my dream, and I wrote it that day. Sell the homework. Him. Did it, <laughs> did it, have a car and it's amazing. And wow. it's like, that song blows up every year because moms want to TikTok with, daughters yeah. want to TikTok with their moms. For sure. So I feel like thinking. we're not obviously not in the music industry and know absolutely nothing, but every time I, whether it's talk to an artist or just like, listen, you guys always just obviously know what's best for you and what your audience and what your followers are going to listen to and resonate with most. And I remember hearing Madison Beer also talk about how the song Selfish that blew up for yeah. her, like they were very much like, don't put it out, don't put it out. Yeah. She put it out and it was like the mm. one song that like blew her yeah. up. It's just weird how they don't listen to you guys more. It's tough, it's tough because nobody knows. Yeah. yeah. Like we could also be wrong. Like yeah. we don't know. So it's it's really scary, but um, when you get it, then you're like, well, I know everything. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like my Treat Myself album, I was like genetics first, let's go. Yeah. Like this is the one. And I played it for every other label and every other radio station. And they were like, this is a no brainer. But my label was like, it's too hard to spell. And I was like, but that's the whole point. I'm <laughs> teaching you how to spell yeah. it. And so that was like one, I'm like, oh, you really missed that one. Cause people come to me like, why was a genetics a single? That was the best one. Which was the single for that album? Um, Wave. Um, Wave. But it was like no excuses and then Wave. And then, because we were scrambling. Like, what's happening? What do we do next? And then COVID hit. And I was like, well, goodbye. Like, and I'm out. I'm done. And I'm out. Didn't get to tour. Didn't get to do nothing. And I was like, I love that album. So, but there was articles written about it that it would be a cult classic. And I was like, I'll take it. Yeah. Win. Okay. (laughs) What's your favorite part about touring? Uh, nothing. It sucks. <laughs> I, I think I would hate touring. No, she loves I it. I hate it. But um, the best part is like connecting with the fans. Yeah. And like meet and greets and the stage. And that's it. Every other hour sucks. Yeah. Really? Like, <laughs> yeah. Because you're just on the, like after you get done with your show, which I really want like an early 8 p.m. show, maybe a 7 p.m. Because <laughs> <laughs> then I can get on the bus and be asleep by 10. Like a yeah. sunset show. That'd be yeah. beautiful. But we go on at like 9 or something and then we're in bed by midnight. And I'm like, ouch. And then you drive to the next day and they're like, okay, it's 4 a.m. Get up, get in that hotel room. And I'm like, <gasps> oh, that and sounds then, horrible. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's like a tough life, but I think because I know how to take care of myself and my health now that I'll be much better at it because I was constantly sick. I need to learn how to lip sync. It has to happen. I need to figure out how to like pre-record because I always uh, need vocal surgery because uh, I'll be <gasps> singing these, hey, hey, I'll um, be screaming. So I can't survive. So I need to figure out how to fake it. Um, and it's it's a lot of singing. I wish I was in a girl group. 
And <laughs> your one verse. One, it's just like pass, like yeah. pass it on. You'll see a lot of me being like, go out, sing, because I'm yeah. exhausted. Well, I, I get that. It's so much stamina and so endurance much. too. Dude, I'm not a. I would athlete. just sit there. I would sit there on a stage and yeah. just spotlight on me, but like Ed Sheeran. And I'm like, I want to dance. And I was like, I regret this. But like, <laughs> I have to dance. Yeah. I love it. I just always wanted to be a dancer. So. I just want to dance and I'm winded. So, oh my God, I would be too. But I'm going to have a baby on tour now. And we're going to say, yeah. My Next last tour. tour. So, Daryl and I, we super fell in love too because he also didn't want to go to like clubs and stuff on tour. Yeah. Instead, we would, um, <laughs> I've never told anyone this, we would pop edibles and go to the zoo. Oh <laughs> we're, like, we're like the aquarium. That's exactly what I would do. And I was too. like, dude, do you see this lobster? <laughs> like, that was our shit. So, that sounds now, so literally now you. we're going to take like our child to the zoo sober, but we're going to take our kid to the still zoo. Just just still just as fun. Just still just yeah. That's oh hilarious. <laughs> I'm going to do that soon. That sounds it's great. Rad, dude. The aquariums are lit. Like oh, I'm obsessed with every aquarium. And we're like, which aquarium is the best? Do you know? Connecticut. Period. Really? Yeah. Did you go to the Georgia one? I heard the Georgia one's pretty good. <sighs> Probably. I don't even remember. The I've Sweet been to, Long Beach. Have you been to the zoo in like Spain? And that was crazy. I was like, this is like. <laughs> Some this fucking shit is crazy not. monkeys over there. I was there. like, these big, they have the biggest brown bears I've ever seen. And I was like, they could totally jump this fence. Like. <laughs> They're a hop and a skip away from beating my face. There needs to be like a show or movie or some like I wish I need that's hilarious. Like a that Netflix special hilarious. of like a Just me like going to the zoo. Hi. <laughs> uh, yeah. Look, that'd be a great zoo. segment for like a it James Corden show. Right? Do a live pod up, you know. Okay, okay. At the zoo. Yeah, yeah, you and Daryl. <laughs> You're just walking <laughs> around with your microphone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we took our kid to the LA zoo and like he didn't give two shits. And this oh. was before glasses. And I was like, oh. man, he's too young. This is a waste of time. And he, like the gorilla was like right there. And he yeah. was like, eh. and was like oh, okay. <laughs> and then we took him again after glasses. And he was like, stop. Oh. I was like, baby boy, you were blind. I would just oh, cry. I, see. I would just cry. Yeah. It was a whole different kid. Oh, oh my God. It's crazy. I was I like, can't. oh, you can see now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. Awesome. Okay. What other secrets can I tell you? I know, please. Anything that comes um, to mind, let us know. <laughs> Why? You're going to tour the podcast? You should. We, um, you discussed it and you said, I no. hate touring. <laughs> oh, I just sucks. hate like the idea it of a bus sucks. sounds no, not fun for it's me. Not fun. She went on a tour once. You could try to make it fun, mm. but like, <laughs> I just don't, I don't know. I'm just not, I like to be home on my couch. Home. That's all I want. I built my home so that I'll never have to leave it. Yes. Like I'm never going on vacation ever again because I built a water park. Exactly. Why you would built you a water park? No, so it's a like pool. a pool. You know those like <laughs> rock pools? Yes, yeah. with the I slide. Did that. I did that You're with the slide. slide. Oh, I got a slide. Oh my God. Putting green. Slide, like rains on you. I have a putting green. Yeah. I have a basketball like, park. Oh I'm just like brag, but like, I don't know. <laughs> oh my. I'm building a preschool in my attic right now. What? So that my kid doesn't have to leave my house. Because <gasps> I don't want him going anywhere out of my sight. I get it. It's really, <laughs> so it's, it's scary. scary out no, there. it's really scary. So yeah, I uh, don't ever have to leave home. My studio's in the basement. It's perfect. Your studio looks podcast amazing, by the way. Thank you, thank Insane you, thank you, thank you, studio. My podcast has a whole room for itself. I can't wait to show you guys. Come over tomorrow. Right. Okay. What, what are you doing tomorrow? tomorrow? Do you do a whole back class uh, every day? We'll cancel whatever. I know. Okay, like, yeah, I will cancel my day tomorrow. Wednesday's light tomorrow. I'm telling you. Okay, I'll be there. Okay. Okay. He wakes up from his nap at two. Oh my god! Okay, I'll be there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! I can't wait to hit up that water slide though. There's no water in it yet, but yes, soon <laughs> when it's done, we can just oil it, it up. Dry. <laughs> yeah. Some like foam pit. This is gonna be sick. You're oh gonna be god. very impressed. I hope. Oh, I will be. It's gotta be better than my <laughs> house. My house flooded, so it can't. It's gotta get oh, better. <laughs> your house looked nice. It was though. a real Thank water you. park. It was a real water park. Free water park oh, for no. free. It was expensive water <laughs> it was park. Expensive water park. <laughs> Damn. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the single. Let's talk about the, the single. single. Bad for me, real life situation. Uh, I had a therapy session uh, to figure out this family member that I've had issues with for a long time, but never said anything. Oh. Like walked on eggshells, was like, love you too, bye. And like only talked at Christmas and whatever. Mm. And then something significant happened. And then I was like, I got to say something or I'm going to die. Like I got to say something before I don't, you know, before something bad happens. So I wrote a letter to my therapist, sent it, got no response. And they reached out to different family members and was like, I misunderstood. And I was like, no. Oh so then, um, but it's hard because I don't want to hurt the feelings and I don't want to go public with them everywhere. And yeah, yeah. so it's not. like tough. And um, I didn't think it'd be the first single. That's why it's hard to sing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's hard to sing. When they were like, this is the first one. I was like, it's the summer. We're going to go out with this ballad. <laughs> like, <laughs> summer bop. Sure. And they're like, yes. Because when we played it for everyone, that was the one that everyone cried. Yeah. And that was the one that everyone goes, my sister. Or yeah. Like my, uh, my everyone mom. resonates to my some mom. extent. Like literally, yeah. So I 
I was like, all right, let's do it. Fuck it. And and then I leaked it on TikTok and it went nuts. And people were commenting like I needed this years ago. And I think especially now with all this political shit yeah. too, mm-hmm. it's like it's getting nasty and it's getting tough. And there just need to be a song um, that talked about it. And so here you go, guys. Here's therapy. And also, if you want to write a letter, my my team is incredible. And they made a website called mytherapisttoldmeto.co. Where you can go write that letter and just anom- anonymously um, blast it. Oh That's my god! So nice. And we'll just share your trauma with our Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> but anonymously, yeah. don't worry. But it's like very therapeutic, and a lot of people will write those emails and don't send them and then erase it. But yeah. I, I sent mine and it didn't work. But it's okay. But was it cathartic for you to at least yeah, write? Yeah, I was Go like, ahead. at least I got it out, yeah. and it was eating me alive, not saying anything. And I was like, I'm a bad. I feel like a bad person for not saying something. So yeah. whatever. This makes me feel better. Period. Are you a confrontational person normally or not? No. Yeah, me either. <laughs> no, hi. Yeah. No. I'll like eat it too. Like my mom's maiden name is Jekinowski and they never talk about their confrontations and we're like, oh, the Jekinowski secret. Like that's what <gasps> it's we just a thing. Call it. It's a yeah. shtick. Oh. Yeah. I remember I was going through like really bad heartbreak and everyone kept telling me just like write a letter and then like rip it up, write a letter, rip, rip it up. And I never did, but I really think it would have helped me a lot. Even my brother who's like tough, hardcore, never cries, holds it in forever, stuffs it down. He was like, I wrote a letter uh, to someone I loved and then burnt it, and it was the best. And I was like, wow, that's so emo of you. Like, <laughs> we, okay. know, we talked about that a lot. The yeah. Photo. I brought the photo. <gasps> <laughs> this is funny. Speaking of manifesting. <laughs> In a bad way. This is. Are you a witch? What do you I mean? W- honestly, maybe. I, there was a, the same guy I was like so hung up on, so upset. And then he would like, just, he was just breadcrumbing me all the time. You know what I mean? Just like. Teasing? Uh, yeah. Like would like ghost me for three weeks and then just like a hey. And then like no. another two weeks. And then, but I was like hooked for so long. And finally I worked up the courage. I didn't write the letter, but I was like, I'm going to burn this photo of him. Like, oh my God. Like I'm, I'm over it. You're better than this. You deserve better. And I start lighting it. And all of a sudden I hear. Ding! And I look and he texts me and I went, <laughs> blew it out as fast as I possibly could. Still got my heart broken. It's okay. That prolonged it a while, but well, I should have written the letter. He's going to be alone and bald someday, so it's fine. <laughs> but bald people are hot too, but still. He's, he's gross. Just alone. Thank wow. you. But you're dating someone now. Yes. Oh, yeah. We've been dating for three years now. Yeah. Anniversary? You're Hopefully. getting married. So, so, yeah. We dated for like a year and a half because I was like, calling everyone like hey when will people not judge us for being engaged <laughs> like when is it reasonable my mom's yeah. like do whatever you want and so <sighs> I, uh, I we waited for like a year and a half or something like that to be like we're official wow and i was like wait till they see us at five years we're gonna be crazy cool <laughs> and then it's like we're on six years now and i'm like we fucking told them oh my like, god it's been six years wow yeah how was your wedding for you <laughs> Um, it was great. The DJ kind of botched it, so I was no. mad. And like, you know, when you're like so excited and your adrenaline is going nuts, and like when you're drinking, you're not getting drunk, you're just yes. getting a headache. Yes. And mm. nothing fun is happening in your brain. You're just like, oh, more tired and more sober and more headache. Yeah. And that's like that was your what wedding? my buzz was the whole oh, wedding no. night. But like, I. It, the headache didn't hit till after dancing so hard. So I think I was just dehydrated. Yeah. Also, I didn't eat. So yeah. I was like, where's the food? It's gone. Like, oh, I yeah. was like late to the food. So I think that's what happened. And then we, when we were dating, we were at like this Sunset Marquee. Is that what the hotel is? We were at this hotel. So my mom booked us a hotel room that we like fell in love in <gasps> and like drove us there. And we brought like chicken fingers and <laughs> ketchup and churros. I, I remember that. that. And we got in. We're not that couple that's like, we're going to have sex all night on our yeah. wedding night. We were like, we're going to eat. Like, <laughs> I love it. I and Daryl like immediately drunkenly passed out. I was like, love you. Good night. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, and he woke up like covered in crumbs. I'm ketchup dead. everywhere. It's like, we're disgusting. That's oh, so sweet. So sexy. Yeah, so hot. So hot. <laughs> yeah. Nobody knows that either. Did you guys right? honeymoon after it? Yeah, we well, we did a family moon because I can't live without my family. So <laughs> we did a week at like, um, we, I wanted to go to Bora Bora like my whole oh life. My yeah. I was like, this is going to be where I honeymoon. And there was an island that apparently is super bougie. So I balled out and went to the Brando, which is where like Kim Kardashian had her <gasps> 40th birthday and flew okay. everyone. Oh, yes. Okay. It was cool. And it was like so quiet. And it was like rainy that week. 
And I think I got my period and I was like, this sucks. And I like, <laughs> I, sucks. we were like indoors just watching movies every day. And, and we, were, we were there for a week and we got massages and it was nice. And then the week after we all went to, I, I went to Bora Bora and met my family there. And I remember seeing my mom and I cried. And I was like, it's been a week, but I was like, mom. Oh. And like, we all cried and we were screaming and on Bora Bora, like those islands with the docks with the yes. houses on, everyone's quiet. Yeah. And we're like, what the <laughs> fuck is on? And then like, my brothers are jumping off the bri- the bridge to get in the water. And they're like, you're not allowed to do that. And I was like, we, we don't belong here. <laughs> like, uh. But we had a great family moon. I brought my brother. I brought my friend. Family my, moon. <laughs> my brother brought a, like a girl he was with at the time. And. It was the best. Oh, and then I we went there that. again, like that same year. And they were like, "The train of family, you're back." <laughs> and I was like, "This is embarrassing. Please don't remember us." The whole family again. Yeah, I love this. I love how family oriented you are. Yeah, it was expensive. <laughs> <laughs> like, awesome. Do you put the bill for everyone? I, I also like show. Yeah, oh. what I showed them like first class too, and then now they can't go back. They're yeah. like, "Don't move me back there." Get <laughs> 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 the fuck back there. And now I'm like, you will be in the back of the plane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Man, good. that is so but good. But it's like the best perks of this job. Yeah. Oh, like sure. any of the hard touring stuff. I'm like, whatever. I can bring my family anywhere. Yeah. yeah. I'm sick. And my business manager's like, you're great. You don't spend money on anything except these plane tickets. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Give me take all, all of them. Ten of them. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Long. Oh, can I play you my song? Wait, yes, yeah, please. Yeah, we, we can do one at a time. We, we brought some just, headphones. Oh, perfect, perfect. Oh my God. We provided the gear. You can listen. Oh. You can listen. We can listen no. with wired headphones. You can listen. No, we can listen together. <laughs> How do you do it with wired headphones? If we just plug it in, then we can each share one. Oh, yeah. If you want to do it at the same time. Yeah, she has those. Oh, we have or we wired can, headphones. We can just flip it and we can hear it this way. Do that. No, they can't hear it. It's secret. I want you to hear it at the same time. Okay, okay, okay. It's yeah, secret. like maybe cut their mics later because it'll leak. Okay, wait. So you this said- one's called "Made You Look" and it is the second single. Oh, can you hear me now? Mic I can. Hear, yeah, let me put back on. Um, this song is called "Made Made You Look" and this was the big debate of like, do we put this one out first or bad for me? <gasps> How do you and even decide? You don't. Um, okay. It was, it was a, literally a massive fight between everyone in the family and my manager and my label. It was yeah. a whole thing. Really? Um, but ultimately, I was like. You know what? It's I don't want to come out with the album with the sadder song. Like mm. I want to come out with the album with the banging upbeat song. So let's like reintroduce myself as like she's a mother, she's mature, yeah, 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 she's yeah, been yeah. through she's it, involved. she's involved, <laughs> she's giving Adele, <laughs> and then be like, bam, just kidding, made you look, you know? I yeah. love that. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, playing room. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Wait, you said so this album is like titled 2.0. In yeah, what you'll way? Hear it in this. Oh, okay, doo wop, doo wop, sounding doo-wop. okay. Mm. The do apps, you know, the but it's like modern, old school. Walk of Shame is also one of my faves. So, oh, oh it's, yay! Oh my god, that's a that's a real story. Huh? <gasps> it was a little hoe. <laughs> yeah. Wait, no, because like no, in my hoe face, I'd be like singing it to myself oh my as god, I'm walking dude. back to my car. <laughs> so many walking. You're fine. <laughs> that was my biggest fear of being famous. I was like, are all those guys gonna come out? And be like, <gasps> wait, we have a question. So, like, have you ever had people text you like, "Is this song about me"? One person for bad for me, but they didn't text me. They texted oh, their family. family. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. the only time ever. Yeah, wow. I think my exes, my exes don't talk to me, so mm. we keep it that way. They know they shouldn't hit you yeah. up. Yeah, but I sh- I'm sure I torture them. It's fine. <laughs> okay, oh my this, God, is, I feel like this is so this is insane. I just realized okay. this doesn't come out till like October, but it's uh, made you look. Tell me when you're playing. I'm gonna dance. I have chills already. <laughs> it literally is title 2.0. I love it. You can't sing a lot. <laughs> I'm already seeing a TikTok. <laughs> I like the background vocals. <laughs> She's a full circle. <laughs> oh my god. I, I have like actual chills. I love it. Oh my god. You know god. what I mean? Title 2.0. Feel- this is title yeah. 2.0. I, did I was it. transported back. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> oh, oh my god, god. thank you. I have like I'll text it to you right now. This oh is a little album. <laughs> it's like the perfect, it's shorter, but it's like the perfect length. Like it, it's short. Yeah. It's, it's, it we like rounds like, out nicely. That was another debate. They're like, do we get a feature? I was like, it's fine. I think it's really good. Oh, I it's love so it. It was so good. Are listening to it. <laughs> oh my God. That was such a good And you can like edit that out. You know, or no, oh, yeah. Any sound keep comes it, in keep for it sure. Up. Or like edit because it gets boring because I'm just like, <laughs> no, that's why you know, I love you singing I love that you're singing along. Like, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I felt. Very nostalgic, like it felt nostalgic, kind of, you know. So you heard "Made You Look." What'd you think? <laughs> Honestly, oh, good. Like so I was much. smiling, I was bopping, like the. D- 
You can that do part, it. That, 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 <laughs> that, 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 that yeah, part. She's a musician <laughs> too. Like she's super. Really? So like I that, she loves music. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Around music a lot, but um. I didn't really appreciate it. Yeah, you guys it. appreciate it more. We appreciate, you know. More than others. Just a little I study body language and y'all are killing it. I Wait, know. really? No, like, I'm not like a... Oh. oh. I was like, that's a <laughs> secret hidden <laughs> talent. So what I do is I study body more language. More secret. <laughs> My hobby. No, I, I like watching, like, I'll play it for an Uber driver and be like, what do you think? And Stop. I'll watch how he reacts. <laughs> He's like... <laughs> this is you? Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. Yeah. Oh, my God. Well... What a what a high end a high note to end the episode on. Thank you so much for being on yeah, the podcast. Literally, me. So I can literally talk to you forever. Please come on my podcast because my brother's gonna love you. Literally, anytime. he'll love her. He'll love <laughs> you. Okay, we would love to. I uh, can't wait to see you tomorrow. Yeah, I yeah, love you. Yes. She's yeah. like, don't forget yeah. you and yeah. my son. I'll be over there tomorrow. We will be there. Be there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, plug yourself again, I please. Oh, me. Uh, hi, it's Megan Trainer, and I have an album coming out called Taking It Back. Um, on October 21st and I have a song right now called Bad For Me that's out featuring Teddy Swims and you can find it everywhere and working on it oh pod. and working on a pod with my brother check it out what a good album name Take I just got chills again I always have tea for the album thingies oh, because I of never, Trainer my family I never even put that I'm a together family gal. <gasps> love it love it love it because she's family oriented family and family going family. to Bora Bora <laughs> 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 alright well thank okay. you guys for listening and we'll catch you next week bye bye, bye. That was, was like, so good. I was like, where are you looking at? Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah my cheeks hurt. <laughs>